In southern Indiana, there are two armies, separated by seven miles of bean cornfields. Every year, these two armies meet at their chosen places of battle to compete for glory. The rivalry between these two teams, Bogoti and Bar-Eve, is fierce. At times, it even separates families. This rivalry comes to a head on the court, both basketball and volleyball. The story of this rivalry stretches back generations. This is just a small piece of that story. stories throughout the years and uh, and just more and more as I listen to people it seems like a lot of their stories former athletes they're, they're always talking about the Bar Reef Ligoti game like what happened when they played in the Bar Reef Ligoti game so yes I was attended Ligoti High School from 1986 to 1990 I participated in tennis all four years on the varsity and then I was a varsity basketball player uh, sophomore through senior years as a as a student, probably my biggest memory of the Ligoti Bar Reeve game would have been in 1986. Uh, Ligoti played Bar Reeve in the semifinals, and Bar Reeve had an eight, ten point lead, a couple minutes left in the game. That's back when you just had bonus free throws, one and one. You, you can never get in the two shot foul, and Bar Reeve missed several free throws at the end, and Ligoti ended up um, hitting a last second tip in at the buzzer to win. My highest highs, you know, as a fan, as a husband, as a spectator, as, as whatever, are when we do something against them in a tournament. And my lowest lows are when we lose them in, in the tournament. Uh, my name is Mike DeCourcy. Uh, I'm not only a teacher at Bar Eve, but a junior high basketball coach, and I'm also the, uh, the radio announcer for Bar Eve on, on 95.9. I call myself the voice of the Vikings. I've, I've thought for years that that the rivalry between Bar Eve and Magoti it, it, it's second to none. And even when you try to explain to somebody else that a school that has approximately 200 students like we do, and a school like Magoti that has 300 students, that they can fill up a gym that seats you know 4,500 people for a basketball game, or they can play a Friday night volleyball game, and and and, and fill up. A, a gymnasium with with two or three thousand fans. When you try to explain that to somebody else, uh, people just don't get it because you, you've got to live it to really understand it. away from each other. Both schools very talented and, and athletic and, and consistently put winners out there but I think boys basketball and girls volleyball is where you see it manifest itself the most. It is an intense rivalry and I think that's one word to describe it. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with the uh, people involved. Uh, I, think, I think it really the rivalry starts uh, with Jack Butcher, a longtime coach of Ligoti. Uh, he put Ligoti on the map in boys basketball and I think Paul Reeves always had a wonderful program but they're always kind of chasing Ligoti. Ligoti's been an established small school basketball mecca dynasty for forever basically with Coach Butcher being here 45 years and no doubt Paul Reeves has held their own um, but I'm not surprised because basketball especially in southern Indiana even to 
to this day, almost 2014, it still means an awful lot to people. I think more than anything, that Ligoti, Ligoti basketball uh, mystique, if you want to call it, is it that we just do things the right way, and we have done it for years, and um, you know, in the, in the 70s and 80s, and even in the middle 90s, uh, we were the model for schools around here to follow, and then Jack Butcher just made that happen uh, for over 50 years, and we still do that to this day. I think I think it's very important for our folks to beat Bar Eve. I, I think beat Bar Eve is a cheer, a chant that that Ligoti folks kind of grow up teaching their kids. Uh, I think it goes the same for Bar Eve. I think it's, you know, Butcher the Lions. At one point, I remember, was a, 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 fan, a, a fan's cheer at the, at the old Washington section when I was playing ball at WC. It's, it's something special for sure. Um, it gets, it, you kind of brought up with it ever since you're a little kid to not like Ligoti pretty much. It's just something that that's, you work your career because they're the team, most often than not, that you have to get past to advance in the state tournament, so they're always the team you want to beat. friends with people on the Ligoti team? No, I'm not friends with them. <laughs> it's not like I don't like them. It's just, you're, they're just not, not supposed to be friends almost kind of thing. It's not like, it's nothing personal at all, but just not usually friends with them. <laughs>